<laughs> Welcome back to the program. If you're just tuning in, I'm sitting here live with the sole survivor of the Miles County Massacre, which occurred exactly one year ago today. I've worked on the show for many years, and I've never sat across from someone who has a story to tell quite like yours. Thank you again for taking the time to sit down and speak with me. It's my pleasure. Now, when we left off, we were talking about the moment you woke up from the coma. Do you remember your initial reaction when you first saw your face? Yes. Would you like to share that with us? I wish I was dead. Do you still feel that way? People are frightened by the way that I look, especially children. And it's really difficult for me to deal with that, so isolation is ideal. Now, what about your attacker? The man identified only as Art the Clown. There's a lot of controversy surrounding his supposed death. The authorities issued a statement claiming that his body disappeared from the county coroner's office the morning after the attack. He's dead. I saw it happen. Did you watch it? Oh my God, I thought she was gonna attack me. <laughs> my heart was pounding the entire time. Yeah, well, if you think she looks that bad on television, imagine what she looks like sitting two feet away from you. I was gonna gag at one point. Babe, do me a favor. If I ever look like that, promise me you'll put me out of my misery. You think I'm kidding? I'll do it myself. Yeah, Tom said we won't know until the morning, but he thinks the ratings are gonna go up big time. <laughs> exactly. We finally figured out the formula for success. Faceless victims and a host in jeopardy. Yeah, watch next month, it's gonna be called Monica's House of Horrors. Shit. Hey, can I call you back? I have like 50 people calling me. Okay. All right, love you too. Hello? Tom? by the way. For what? Promising you weren't gonna get shit-faced tonight? Guys kept buying me drinks. I can't help it if people find me interesting. Yeah, definitely your mind that they were after. <laughs> Who are you texting? Look at your business. 
You gave that asshole your number, didn't you? Oh my god. I'm so jealous. Of what? That kid was talking to like five other girls. Oh, stop being such a bitch. Just get in the car. Whoa, you are not driving. Okay? I'm fine. Give me the keys. <laughs> Give me the keys. Don, I don't feel like dying tonight. Really? Are we really gonna do this right now? Give me the keys. <gasps> I'm gonna pie you like a cat. Are we really gonna do this right now? Okay, 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 okay. You drive. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. I'm fucking lit. <laughs> but if I get something to eat, um, I can drive us, okay? There's a place that's open late, we can sober up. Did you say food? I said food. You know the place, it's right there. Come oh, on. Okay, okay, okay. Just like, give me one minute. Uh, fuck me. Live one minute, for real. D. D. What? Look. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, that's not funny. I'm about to scream. Hey, handsome. Can you cut it out. My friend wants your I'm number. I'm fucking kill you. Come buy us dinner. Stop. Just shut the fuck up. What? Maybe he'll drive us home. I'm sorry, she's drunk. Let's go. Come on. Let's just go. Oh yeah? You get dressed up? Oh, like you are so fuck. Where am I gonna go? Back to my wife? Same shit. Maybe another two hours? All right. All right, bye. Great. Oh. oh, here we go. That was the longest piss I've ever taken. Thank you for sharing that. Why do you gotta stop this stuff? This guy wants me to meet him at his apartment right now. What a shocker. I told him I would. What? I'm kidding. I have a little more self-respect than that. If you only had a brain. Oh, I don't want to fall. Gotcha. Yeah. I've been wanting to use that one all night. Congratulations. <laughs> Look at your boyfriend. So I told you this a week ago. We'll go to your mother's, I don't know, six weeks from now. I'll be right with you, buddy. You gotta see the shape of this fucking guy that just walked in. Are you okay? I think we should get our food to go. Why? Him? Seriously, I want to leave. Jesus Christ. Dee, stop! Uh, excuse me? Excuse me. Can I get a picture with you? Don, come on. Shut up. Hello. Hello. Okay, I'm gonna take that as a yes. This fucking. Uh, oh. Sorry. Thanks. What the hell is wrong with you? What, did you think he was gonna hack me up into little pieces or something? What can I get for you, buddy? Hey. Hello? 
If you don't order anything, you're gonna have to leave. You already have eight likes. Can you hear me in there? Oh god, it's gonna be a long night. What are you doing? Thanks. <laughs> okay, not for nothing, but that's the nicest thing a guy's done for you all night. Seriously? What the fuck? Here you go, ladies. Yes. You two okay? Oh, he's harmless. You okay? Don't worry, I'll take care of him. Enjoy your pizza. What do you keep staring at? That bag. What do you think is in it? I don't know, who cares? Just eat your food. You fucking freak! Get over here! All night with you, you fuck! Enough! Dad. And take your shit and don't come back. Ramon, grab a mop and some bleach. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. What do you think that guy did in there? Who knows? Probably jizzed all over the place. Fucking pervert. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what? I'm telling you, that guy totally whacked off in there. He was obviously turned on by you. You're fucking sick. You know that? <laughs> Look. What? Look at your head. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look, at least he had the courtesy to do whatever he did in private. I mean, he could have whipped it out right there. I really don't <laughs> need the visual. <laughs> well, are you OK to drive? <laughs> yeah, trust me, that sobered me right the fuck up. <laughs> Oh my god. What? You're tired. Fuck me! Has it been like this the whole time? I think I would have said something if I'd noticed that your tire had exploded. Why does this shit always happen to me? Do you have a spare? It's on the car. Wow. I'm starting to feel sick. Just give me your phone. I'll call my sister. Yo, Steve, this is sick. I better get overtime for this. No joke, this is disgusting. Got me cleaning piss and shit at one o'clock in the morning. Let the guy who handles food take care of it. Real fucking sanitary. Steve, time and a half or I'm out. You hear me? Hello? Hi, it's me. Tara? Yeah, my phone died. I'm calling from Don's. Ah, your phone died. Can you ever go out without using social media every 30 seconds? <laughs> I think you're the only one in America who has that sort of restraint. <laughs> yeah, that's probably right. Did I wake you? No, I am studying for my midterm tomorrow. Oh, shit. Why, what is it? What is it, Tara? Don and I are sort of stranded right now. She has a flat tire and no spare, and I was kind of hoping you could pick us up. 
have to be up in five hours, Tara. Yeah, I, I know, Vic. Don't bother. Seriously. I didn't realize you had a test. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know you were here. You know what? I gotta stretch my legs and... Besides, if I fail, I can always blame you. You are the best sister in the world. Yeah. Where are you? What's wrong? I'm fine. Why? You keep looking over your shoulder. Just thinking. About? Nothing. Tell me. What if that guy did this to your car? <laughs> what guy? The clown? I'm serious. Oh, you really think someone slashed my tires? Well, he knows this is your car. He saw us getting into it earlier. It's fucking ridiculous. I probably just ran over a nail or something. Should I just let you drive? Yeah. You should have. But as usual, you have to be the good Samaritan. So here we are, stuck. Like a couple of assholes. <laughs> But what if I'm right and he's out there watching us right now? <gasps> Jump your tits. I don't know, Tara. Look, that guy was harmless. He was just some douchebag in a costume acting like a retard because it's Halloween. <laughs> no, he was different. That smile? The way he kept staring at us with those dead eyes. What was in that bag? I don't know, Tara. The point is, he's gone, and you're never going to see him again. So cut the shit, because you're starting to freak me out. I really have to pee. So go. Go. Go where? It's the middle of the night. I can't just pop a squat in the middle of the street and pee like you do. Well, tough shit. Because it's gonna be a while till your sister gets here. Fuck. <sighs> hmm. Maybe that guy has a bathroom that you can use. Who? That creepy guy. Who just got out of that even creepier looking building. Tara, I was kidding. Excuse me? Yes? I'm sorry to bother you. Is there a bathroom in there I could use? Sorry, I don't own the place. I'm not supposed to let anyone in here. Please, mister, it's an emergency. I'll be two seconds. Honestly, I could get in a lot of trouble. Who's gonna know? Just let her use the bathroom, for God's sake! She'll make it worth your while! Friend of yours? Yeah, I'm... I'm sorry, she's drunk. It's... It's been a long night. All right. Just make it quick, okay? Thank you. <clears throat> Guy's even weirder looking than the clown was.
Let's wait. Good thing you caught me when you did. I was about to bomb the hell out of this place. Bomb? Bug bomb. Pest control. What kind of pest? You sure you want me to tell you before you use the bathroom? <laughs> Why? Don't tell me it's roaches. It's not roaches. Oh, good. It's rats. Rats? All clear. You sure? Rat free. What if one crawls out of the toilet? I'd make it quick if I were you. Good plan. Do you need me to wait for you, or...? I'll be all right. You remember how we came in? I remember. Okay. Well, um, you have a nice night, then. You too. Thanks again. Don't mention it. Oh my god, you're never gonna believe what I just heard on the radio. Figures. Oh, I'm sorry. Shh. You don't have to say a word. Your eyes tell me everything. I didn't mean to frighten you, dear. You must be the new tenant. It's nice to finally meet you. You're really going to like it here. Isn't she, Emily? This is my daughter, Emily. Say hello to the pretty young lady. It's been quite a while since we've had neighbors. 
Perhaps we can do our laundry together. I could use some good company. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. Will you excuse me a moment? I have to find the landlord. The first month's rent is due and I don't want to be late. Punctuality is the thief of time, dear. Ah! <laughs> 
Happy Halloween, boys and ghouls. Current temperature is a crisp 43 degrees. Winds are starting to pick up as well, setting the tone for old Sam Hain. Now, if you're still out and about in the Miles County area, I'd advise you to be extra careful out there. Police are still on the lookout for a man involved in a brutal slaying of two employees at Deer Hills Pizzeria this morning. The suspect was last seen wearing a black and white clown costume with matching face paint. If you're just tuning in, this is not a Halloween prank. The local sheriff has advised all persons in the Miles County area to stay indoors and notify authorities if they see anyone matching the assailant's description. Really? Meanwhile, on a much more...
Only the wind can't hurt you. I won't let anything hurt you. weren't such a good idea after all.
Who are you? How'd you get in here? You have to come with me now. There's a dead woman in your basement. What? Yes, dead, dead, all dead. He's killing them, one by one by one, like cows. Look, lady, lady, if you don't go away right now, I'm gonna call the cops. Yes, that's what I've been saying. You need to call the police right away, because he's right downstairs, and he's probably going to kill you too. If you don't get someone down here right that's away. What are you talking? The clown with the white face and the little black hat, he thinks what he's doing is funny because he's laughing. But I know it's not funny because they're all dead. Get the hell away from me. I'm telling you, he knows I know. And he's gonna try and kill me before he kills you. Don't Come touch on. me. Don't. Come on. Help me! Please help me! Away from me! Don't hurt my little girl.
You're frightening her. Can't you see that? Emily, it's okay. Mommy's here. Is there kindness in you? Somewhere in your heart. Have you ever felt a mother's touch? Can you show no mercy? She's all I have in this world. Spare her. Hi, you reach Mike. Of course. Leave a message and I'll get back to you. Mike, I'm outside. Every fucking door in this place is locked. Answer your phone! Last time I do this. No consideration Dawn? I know you're in there. Dawn, I can hear your phone. I swear to God, if this is a prank, I'm gonna kill you both.
You're on your own, buddy.
Are you with me? I'm feeling a little tired. I know. It's okay. Just relax. It's gonna be fine. There's a phone over there. I'm gonna call the police, okay? <laughs> I'm not gonna leave you, I promise. I'm just going right over there. Look. Um. 911 emergency. Uh, yes, I need the police and paramedics here right away. What's wrong, sir? I want to report a murder. There's two dead people. I got this young woman over here who's just been assaulted. She's bleeding everywhere. I think she's going into shock. Okay. Give me your address. Uh, Sylvan Street. It's an old warehouse. What kind of injuries does she have? She's cutting all over. Some, some place is really deep. I, I, I don't know. She's bleeding all over the place. Is she conscious? Yeah, she's conscious, but I have no idea for how long. Where is the assailant now? I, I knocked him out. If this guy wakes up, we are not safe here. This guy is armed, and he's a total fucking maniac. Okay, sir. What I want you to do now is just remain calm and stay on the line with me until the police arrive. Look, we are not staying here. I'm taking this girl to the emergency room. You just get your asses down here now! I got my truck outside. Can you walk? Okay, come on. Let's get out of here.
Fucking move! Put your hands up right now! Central, 1013, male perp, possibly armed. Let me see your hands! More units. I said show me your hands! Put them up! I said put your fucking hands up! That's it. Nice and easy. No sudden moves. The right hand! Show me the right hand! Less warning! You're gonna get shot! Central, we got shots fired. Multiple casualties. We need buses and immediate assistance. Oh my god. What? She's still alive. Come on, guys, you're killing me. The revolving doors won't be installed until Monday. Good to see you too, Doc. Okay, what are you bringing me? Murder, suicide. Wonderful. What's behind showcase number one? A severe head trauma. You're probably gonna have to identify this poor bastard by his teeth. If you can dig him out of the back of his skull. So I should put on a seventh pot of coffee then, huh? You're gonna need something a lot stronger than coffee. Landon said they just found two more bodies. Jesus, they get the sick fuck that's doing this? Showcase number two. No shit. Police found him eating the face off of some young girl after he ran her over with a truck. They blew his brains out before they could take him in, so. Halloween never disappoints, does it? It looks like it's just getting started. Well, seeing as how I'm gonna be here for another 24 hours, thanks to you, uh, you guys think you could uh, get me a breakfast sandwich with bacon or something with bacon? Bacon, really? I thought you were watching your cholesterol. I am watching it. I'm watching it go up. Who's the MD around here? How can you eat a greasy croissant while you're cutting up dead bodies? Sweetheart, I've been doing this 22 years. All right, once you've seen an eight month old microwave to death, everything else is just old hat. Look, you had to ask, all right? I'll hook you up, Doc. That's my guy. Stay safe out there. The fame was worth it, you sick son of a bitch. Thanks again for everything, Doctor. You'll be in our prayers. Please, don't mention it. We're all gonna miss this one. She's been so cooperative. Makes everyone laugh. Well, she certainly hasn't lost her sense of humor. Yeah. Still a wise ass. <laughs> it's good. It's a good thing. Important to stay positive, right? Absolutely. Good spirits. She'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Well, take care of yourself, Victoria. I'll see you in a couple of months. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. 
So long, Doctor. Goodbye. What do you say, kiddo? You ready? Yep. Oh, and uh, good luck with your interview tomorrow. Tomorrow, 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 tomorrow.